Thanks for that, Meg. Yeah, better hit the road. Okay, are you coping all right? Oh, yeah, no shortage of help. Oh. There you go. Thanks. Nick Ryan, isn't it? The vultures are circling. Paula, divorce and kids, eyes all over Nick, and she's not the only one. Nick and Tess are not together. People talk. People get it wrong. TV radios are not just for truckies. There's a whole world out there, thanks. Dating, gossip. Gossip? Like what? Like, Ooh. Bill O'Brien's having a barney with his brother-in-law. Arthur Pringle's bought a new car. You and Nick have separated. So what are they saying about me and Nick? Yeah, I don't get it. How come every woman in the area thinks we need feeding up? Not us, mate, you. Yeah, the word's gone out. Marriage crisis. Apparently you're too upset to cook. And you're single again. That's the goss anyway. Well, I haven't said anything to anyone. Yeah, Neither has Tess. Yeah, well, you're here, she's there, that's all it takes. I tell you one thing, though. I've been single for months and months. I haven't received one single lamington yet. What's the go there? Do you hear any of this stuff about me and Tess breaking up? Uh, yeah, had a few clients fishing for the real story. Female clients, you big stud. Put them straight. Well, it's a bit hard when you're not exactly with Tess right now. I'll get Harrison. <sighs> Told you. Thanks for helping me out. It's much easier with two of us. Oh, I didn't have a lot else on. Pity Nick couldn't help you out. Why, well, he's busy with Harrison. Yes, I see them a lot. So do other people. Single people. And what they see is an attractive man with the baby living with his brother. Look, I know people are talking about us, saying that we've split up, but it's no one else's business. It's a small town, Tess. What do you want me to do? Maybe you should meet at the pub. Have a good snob over the pool table. What, every night for a month until everyone sees us? You know, finding a way back together might really solve the problem. I know, but until Sally is ready to take Harris and then... I know. Look, it'll happen. We will happen. There's a long queue of lonely people out there, Tess. You and Nick shouldn't be standing in it. So, I think that should do it, don't you? I reckon. And I'm the notice board queen, so don't worry, it won't get taken down. Okay. People you meet at the local cafe. Hi. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to help you with the Chuk Mahal. I heard it was impressive. Oh, that's okay. So, did you hear about your brother and my overseer? Mmm, just got off the sat phone. They're celebrating. I thought you'd be there. No, 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 I, um, I had something to do. Oh, Tess and Nick are definitely married. <laughs> That's funny, is it? I kind of thought it was, well, sweet but emphatic. Ah. Uh, no, no. This is funny. Nick Ryan loves Tess McLeod forever, you see? Great minds think alike. Uh, so you know what I'm thinking now, then? Ah. Uh... <laughs> 